Greetings my fellow YouTubers and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name is Duel, better known to y'all as the Big D, and this time around I bring to you a review of the 2004 chick flick Mean Girls. Now I know this, I'm late for the anniversary review which was last year, so I decided to save it for my special love is in the air and romance blossoms two week thingy anyway the film's directed by mark waters and ran by tina fey who also happens to be in the film the film stars lindsay lohan in her first pg-13 movie along with rachel McAdams, tim mills and a gaster and Amy Poehler, yes, who of course would work with Miss Faye later on. It's it's partially based on Rosalind Wiseman's 2002 non-fiction self-help book known as Queen Bees and Wannabes, which of course describes female high school social cliques and the damaging effects they can have on girls. Now, according to this, my source here, Miss Fay also drew from her own experience at Upper Darby High School as an inspiration for some of the concepts in the film. Oh yes, this also introduces us to Amanda Seyfried in her film debut. The film was originally released by Paramount, and apparently it did pretty well. And also to this, this was Miss Lohan's second collab with Mr. Waters, who, had, who the previous year directed, well, her in Disney's updated version of Freaky Friday, which of course was good. Anyway, now then, I'm going to go ahead and give you a heads up. I'm going to try and talk about this, but... I might give all the movie away, so if you haven't seen this, I'd recommend you check it out. So, so I'm just going to say a recommendation, but now you got five seconds to stop this bit before I go into the review if you've not seen it. Okay, you've been warned. Now, the film's about this 16-year-old girl named Katie Heron. Who she and her zoologist parents returned to the U.S. after a 12-year research trip in Africa, sailing in Evanston, Illinois. She had been homeschooled for some time, so now she's attending public school for the first time ever. North Shore High School, that is. She attempts to make new friends and fails, and soon she befriends Janice Ian, that's Lizzie Kaplan, and... Damien Lee. Well, they educate Katie on the school's various cliques and more to avoid the more popular and infamous one of a group known as the Plastics, which is led by Fit Queen Bee Regina George, that's Rachel McAdams, along with with the insecure but rich and oddly named Gretchen Wieners, played by Lacey Chabert, who, of course, was best known for doing voice acting work, most notably Nickelodeon's The Wild Thornberries, and also, though she was uncredited, the original voice of Meg Griffin on Family Guy. And the previous year, she had, well, played, well, Miss Harrigan's... Uh, well, co-worker Jenny in Day Daycare. And finally, the sweep of dimwig Karen Smith. Well, they take an interest in Katie after demanding her against a sexist classmate. So, after learning this, Janice asks Katie to befriend them and tell her everything they say. Katie soon learns about the burn book they have, an old journal of Regina's that is filled with rumors, secrets, and insults about other girls and some of the teachers at school. So apparently, using the book, Janice devises a plan to get back at Regina, but Katie is reluctant. 
thinking Regina's a good friend. So soon she becomes attracted to her ex-boyfriend, Aaron Samuels. Well, and apparently fails math on purpose as an excuse to talk to him. So, Regina finds out about Katie's crush on Aaron and why, I mean, just so he steals him back. So, this spurs Katie to fully commit to Jansen's plan to cut off Regina's resources. So, by breaking the two up, Regina and Aaron, that is, tricking Regina to eat in Swedish nutrition bars that actually make her gain weight and turn her fellow plastics against her. Well, soon, Katie unwillingly remakes herself in Regina's image, becoming spiteful and superficial, and abandons Janice and Damien. Well, she apparently is in for a rude awakening when Regina is finally made aware of this treachery. She retaliates by spreading the contents of the burn book all to school and all that stuff. And soon, this sparks a real... Real bit of when all hell breaks loose in the school. <sighs> so she, and to avoid suspicion, Regina inserts a fake label of herself in the book in order to blame Katie, Gretchen, and Karen. So, apparently Karen convinces their the school's principal, Ron Duvall, that's Tim Meadows, which, um, forgot to mention, he along with Tina Fey and Amy Poehler are all, well, former stars of the long-running Saturday Night Live. So, apparently, well, they learn about all the names in there, including teacher Ms. Norberry, that's Miss Fey's character, on the burn book they framed as a drug dealer. Well, soon they get to apologize and what have you, and their friendships are rekindled. Well, Janice's turn comes and defies Norbury, confessing her plan to destroy Regina with Katie's help and openly mocking Regina, drawing praise from other students she bullied. Pursued by an apologetic Kate, Regina storms out and soon gets struck by a school bus, breaking her spine. <sighs> Enough said about it. Well, it just got so much happening. And if that was enough, she she was she's soon grounded by her parents and she takes full blame for the burn book. Soon she makes amends with Regina and joins the math leads, a group of students in the state championship to make up for the math test she failed, and well she manages to to redeem herself and answers the tiebreaker correctly. And at the spring fling dance after that, Jan's new boyfriend, Shane Oman, is elected king while Katie is elected queen. But Katie declares that all of her classmates are wonderful in their own way, snaps the plastic TR, and gives a piece to everyone. Ah, and soon she then reconciles with Janice, Damien, and Aaron and reaches a truce with the plastics. They disbanded over summer vacation and went their separate ways but still remain friends. But soon they learn there's a group of junior plastics. Ooh, ooh. But anyway, that's how the story goes. But if you made it through this well, seeing this, you were born. But would I still recommend this? Most definitely. I mean, I didn't quite laugh as much as I used to at this because I had not watched this movie in a long time. Now, uh, Paramount, please don't sue me because I know your your label's on here. This is actually the original DVD release I got in 2004. And this was one of the first DVDs I ever bought. When I first got a DVD player, well, well, actually it was a TV with a built-in DVD player. And this was one of the first DVDs I got, along with Shrek 2 and Spider-Man 2. Uh, anyway, I think Mean Girls ranks up there with another great fun-filled chick flick, alongside maybe other movies like Clueless, which of course was a recent hit for Paramount, and lots, and several others. There were many other... Great 
chick flicks and teen comedies and what have you that they did, like um, Pre and Pink, which I'll be reviewing that later on tonight, and Ferris Bueller's Day Off. That's not a chick flick, but it is a funny teen flick and what have you. <laughs> anyway, Mean Girls did pretty well, and soon it got a sequel that came out in 2011. I've never seen it, though. And then, of course, there was also a musical which I've heard, but I didn't know what it would be like, though. But anyway, this is what really made Lindsay Lohan an even bigger star after doing Freaky Friday, even though though she had already be was a fairly decent star by at, since she starred in the remake of The Parent Trap in 1998. But anyway, that's going to do it for my review of Mean Girls. I, I will tell you, it's a it's still a fun movie. It's got a great cast. Story's not too bad. But I feel it's got more ups and downs. It does have some silly humor and what have you. But if this is a chick flick or teen flick. I would highly recommend. So, that's it. Well, if you like Mean Girls, what did you think of it? Please tell me in the comment section. Like and subscribe to my channel as well. And be a part of the Big D Nation. Now, join me again later tonight when I review Pre in Pink with Molly Ringwald, a great 80s chick flick. Now, if you liked what you saw, you can check out some of these other, well, big chick flicks I just reviewed. In the upper left-hand corner is my review of The Princess Diaries with Anne Hathaway and Julie Andrews that I did not so long ago. In the upper... Right hand corner is my recent spoiler free review of Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn, the newest DCEU flick. And I'm only going to give two recommendation vids here if you liked what you saw. And the bottom, oh, no, wait, scratch that, make it three. I'm going to go ahead and the bottom right hand corner is, is the, ugh, the, I'm getting carried away. Let me start this all over, okay? In the upper left hand corner is the button you can is where you can find my review of the Princess Diaries that I did. In the upper right hand corner is my review of I'm changing it. It's gonna be my review of She's All Dad, which is another good teen flick. In the bomb now in the bomb left hand corner is where I'll really put my recent spoiler free review of Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to get all <laughs> sorry. And the bomb right hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe and have some more entertaining fun with moi, the big D. So until next time, thanks again for watching my Mean Girls review. I'm the Big D saying, see ya! <laughs> Ooh.